snow not even off the ground yet, but it is time to start thinking about summer. Specifically, what the kids are going to do when they're done school. There are tons of options for summer camps in Calgary, but what exactly will be right for your child? For some advice, we turn to blogger and author extraordinaire Leanne Shirtlip. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Tara. Uh, is, this is um, challenging for parents who are entering this world because there actually is so much choice. There is so much choice, and if you have a specific week you're looking at, you, there are tons, but you do have to get on it, which is hard to believe with mm -hmm. snow in the forecast, but Calgary has so many kids, but they do fill up. They do fill up, yeah. Everything's yeah. got a, a list. I know, I've learned this as, as a parent. Okay, so is now the time that we need to be looking, and, and does enrollment start soon for a lot of these uh, Most of them opened up enrollment in the past week or two, okay. or, or are very soon. So there's so much Calgary has to offer, and... Most of us probably know the standbys, like the City of Calgary really offers some fantastic programs in our neighborhoods at the rec centers. Mm -hmm. YMCA, fantastic, especially for doing day trips out of their campsites. Right. Um, they do fantastic. And our three uh, major institutes of higher learning, SAIT, Mount Royal University, and University of Calgary. Those are the standards, but yeah. uh, there's lots others. Okay, we're going to get to some specifics, but I have to say, I mean, when I was a kid, the standards, they're great. Day camps, just standard day camps are great. Um, animal camps, there are a whole bunch of those. Yeah, I'll start with the Calgary Zoo because it's fantastic, and there's a few things I like about the Calgary Zoo. They divide it by age, so if your child's, say, in grade one, they'll be just with kids in grade one and maybe grade two. Right. Second thing, if you're a zoo member, you get 10% off. Ah. So, you know, budget is a concern, so that's a good thing. And third thing is that, well, who doesn't want to be at the zoo? But they get a look at behind the scenes at the zoo. So that really is fantastic, and they get to handle some animals safely. So that's mm -hmm. one of my favorite um, animal options, but there's a lot else out there for animals. There's the Calgary Humane Society does a fantastic camp with a possible warning that your child may want to adopt <laughs> once the yeah. Friday comes. So Just be um, wary of that. There's the Inglewood Bird Sanctuary. They do a camp. There's even a reptile camp at some uh, point in the city that right. your, your child may or may not want to pursue. And of course, Butterfield Acres up in the north. Right. That, and yeah. that might be better for you geographically. Absolutely. Um, Okay, sports camps. I know I went to a YMCA sports camp when I was a kid. Uh, Windsport has one. Windsport, yeah, out at COP, they have some fantastic camps. They have all the hockey camps, of course. They also have half day hockey, half day mountain biking. What I like about them is they have mountain biking also for girls, just for girls, um, as well as mixed classes. And if you haven't had enough of winter, you want to prepare better <laughs> for next winter, you, and you have a 10 year old or above, you can put your child into. Um, a multi-sport camp where they're learning biathlon, ski jumping, luge, and um, yeah. Basically. They're so big on that, that physical literacy. It's a great way to get your kid immersed in a whole bunch. We have like a minute left. So, okay, so we're going to, arts and music camps, there are a whole bunch. I want to let you know we're going to put all of these links, and yep. there are a ton, on our website at breakfasttelevision.ca. But you had some specific skills camps that you wanted to get to. Right. If your child is a history buff or you would like them to become a history buff, um, Heritage Park has some fantastic day camps. They also have a sleepover camp for older kids right here in the city. That's a fantastic option. Um, engineering camps, um, there's some fantastic ones at U of C. Um, video game camps there, um, robotics camps at Mount Royal, bricks for kids. My son just came back from a spring break camp with them. Mm -hmm. And cooking camps, Tara. Aha, get the kids. <laughs> I, the cooking the camps, Epicurious, um, as well as the Atco Blue Flame Kitchen offer cooking camps. And I think, um, what a fantastic thing to do. They come home with samples, your child comes home with recipes, and your child comes home wanting to cook dinner. I mean, it's a win-win-win. Mommy, do you want breakfast <laughs> in bed? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, Leanne, how do people find you? Uh, people can find me at my blog, ironicmum.com. Thank you so much for this. Again, list up on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca.